Hey BC Crazy Jimmy here with another video. Uh, like I said, I want to drop uh, a few of these a day if I can, especially while my wife's out, uh, so that doesn't hurt. Uh, but I have um, Acid Archives Diary 3 today to share out of this book right here. Uh, fantastic book. If you don't own it, uh, definitely want to pick one up. Uh, I think you can pick this up on Amazon. Uh, probably eBay, Amazon, uh, Barnes and Nobles, I'm sure has it. But uh, today I would like to actually do something a little different. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about an Acid Archive album. But I also want to talk about Tax Scam albums, uh, which I really got into quite a while ago. Uh, it really sparked my interest. Uh, I find Tax Scam releases, uh, by the way, most of them were from 1977. I find them to be fascinating, uh, just how that whole thing came about, uh, which I'll get into in a second. But uh, the first thing I want to do is highlight uh, today's release. And it's, uh, well, there's no picture of it in here. So the band is Zoldar and Clark. And that's not actually the band. The band is really Jasper Rath. But this is the release I want to talk about today. I love the cover, by the way. This cover's really cool. Uh, but they were, this is a tax scam album that is in the Acid Archives. And I'll explain what a tax scam album is in a second. I'm sure a lot of you know, but for those of you who don't, we'll get into it. But here is the, the actual sleeve in the shrink. I don't know if you can see it. And then the back. So this actually was ranked number two uh, in the top 10 of all tax scam releases by Asset Archives uh, by one of the reviewers. And here's the label. You can see it's on the Delwood label, which is just a tax scam label that released a handful of different tax scam albums. You see there, it's a white label, Delwood. So this is actually the band uh, Jasper Wrath, and it's a prog, a pop prog band, a uh, prog rock band that is from the early 70s. And the material on this particular one, uh, you really won't, you're not going to find it on any other albums. It's mostly uh, demos that they cut uh, for a new album that did not get released until... This here, uh, and this was released in 1977, but the songs date back, uh, from my understanding, to 1973 through 76. So that's what we have here. Uh, if, to describe it, it's definitely proggy, but it's also pop. It has uh, pop rock elements to it as well. The best, the best reference point for this particular album would be yes so like vintage yes so if you're a vintage yes fan and then maybe throw a dash of like am pop in there and mix it with really good harmonies good vocals real crisp drumming on this that's pretty much what you'll have here um, is it the second best tax scam release of all of them and there's been quite a few I would say, in my opinion, it, it's in the top 10, but it's not the second best. Uh, by the way, they have Stonewall as the first uh, in, the, in the book. So let me just read a little bit of what they say about it in here. So Zolder and Clark, of the two Jasper Wrath albums secretly released by Guinness slash Delwood, this is the better and more ex experimental. It has a similar prog AOR sound with an obvious yes influence, including a few, a few blatant thefts. It has more synth and more Mellotron, more special effects than the Arden House album, which is the other Jasper Wrath tax scam album, which is not as good as this one, by the way. Uh, so unlike the Arden House, all seven songs here sound like they were recorded from the same sessions. Um, so it goes on, uh, if you have the book, you can go ahead and roll through it, but ja uh, Zolder and Clark, it's really Z Jasper Wrath, but you're not going to find uh, any of these songs on any of their albums, but this one here, uh, so 
pick that up. Uh, well worth it. You can pick one up right now, a decent copy for about 300, 400 bucks. So uh, well worth it. So now I wanted to get into a few other things. I wanted to talk about tax scam albums a little bit. So I started getting into tax scam albums a while back. I heard the story uh, on how they came about. Uh, basically, um, these uh, record label uh, executives uh, like Ron Fair, people like that, of that ilk. Uh, there's quite a few more, but they went ahead and created these dummy uh, labels like Delwood, Guinness, uh, Tiger Lily is another one. And basically what they did with these is they would get uh, master, uh, not master tapes, but demo tapes or tapes that from bands uh, that, that recorded that weren't released or were released. Uh, there's even a, a Beatles tax scam. There's a Richard Pryor tax scam album. Uh, but then there's a lot of uh, tax scam albums that no one has ever heard of. No one even knows who they are, uh, which I'll show you a few here. Um, but basically what they do is they would take these tapes, uh, they would print up anywhere from 50 to 100 pressing um, or 100 copies max, and then they would destroy them. <laughs> Not all of them got destroyed, fortunately for us, but uh, what they would do is they would go ahead and write it off as a tax loss. But when they did that, they claimed that they pressed far more than 100. So they they would claim you know that they pressed in the thousands and then they collect the 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 money for a tax loss uh so that's why they're called tax scam albums and there's quite a few most of them were released in 1977 i'm going to show you a few here some of my favorites um there's obviously a lot more but these are some of my favorites this is the first one uh, this is a band um called slowpoke now, obviously, this is not really Slowpoke. I, we don't even know who this is. Uh, I don't think this band has been identified yet. They haven't come forward yet. Um, but pretty cool cover. I like the, the pink elephant with the wings. Slowpoke is the name of the band. Taking Off is the album. It's on the, uh, I believe this is on Rocking Horse label, which is a tax scam label. Let me show you the, the label itself. Now, this one's pretty interesting. Uh, this is very much a glam rock um, or, you know, 70s rock sound, but it's definitely glammy in parts. I would say Mott the Hoople is my best reference point for this one. So if you like Mott the Hoople, um, I think you'll really dig Slowpoke. This one's kind of rare. Uh, there, there can't be more than 100 of these in existence. Um, like I said, a lot of these were destroyed. A lot of tax scam albums were destroyed. Some of them were uh, cutouts and sent to like um, discount discount shops where they'd sell them for a buck. So sometimes you'll see a tax scam album and it'll have like a ninety nine cent uh, price tag, and they'll they'll be like a corner locked off. Um, so that also happened. And then some just kind of snuck out and made their way out, uh, and we were lucky enough to get them. But I'll tell you right now, a lot of these are super rare. Like this, this Slowpoke album, um, I don't think I've seen. I've seen maybe two in in the forty years I've been collecting. So, and that includes online. You don't see them online that often. Now I am selling um, my copy of this. I actually have two of these. The two I saw. Um, so anytime I see a tax game album, I buy it. I mean, that's just the way it's going to be, unless it's a ridiculous price and I haven't been able to listen to it. But there are some clips on YouTube. So take a listen to this. I think you'll really dig it. But I am selling um, this copy in the shrink here at a decent price. So uh, take a look at that. It's on Discogs. Um, next, Hot Dog. Um, this is actually the Hot Dogs, and they're a Memphis band. This is on the Guinness label, another Tax Scam album. This is... Um, this is all demos for their second LP that they were going to release. They only released uh, one full length uh, called The Hot Dogs uh, Say What You Mean, I think it's called. But this was supposed to be their second, but was never released. But somehow, someone who, you know, the guy that runs Guinness got a hold of the, of the tapes, the demo tapes, and went ahead and said, hey, these are good, let's, let's release it and let's write it off as a tax scam, <laughs> as a tax write-off. So there's your label. This is excellent Memphis style, big star style, hard rock. So if you like um, 
you know, uh, I'll say a little bit of Leonard Skinner, a little bit of Big Star in there. Um, I think you'll dig Hot Dog, the Hot Dogs for sure. This one's called Hot Dog, but the band is really called the Hot Dogs. Uh, the band is aware of this album uh, floating around. There's maybe 50 to 100 of these uh, in existence today. Uh, so if you're able to get one, great. Um, I think they range from anywhere from 300 to 400 bucks a pop. But I did see a few online, so check it out. There are some samples on YouTube as well, uh, but I think you'll really dig it, um, especially if you like that Memphis uh, 70s rock scene. Um, next is a guy that I really got into. Uh, his name is Richard Goldman. And he actually got burned twice. <laughs> so, uh, really interesting story with Richard, um, who I have come to know uh, and respect. Uh, and we've become fast uh, friends online. So, Richard, um, he was an accomplished writer, singer-songwriter uh, from the late 60s, early 70s. And he's been recording since the 60s all the way up to today. He still records today. So God bless him. But this is his um, his first uh, tax scam cut, and it's it's under the band Almost Famous. But this is really Richard Goldman. <laughs> so um, none of the titles are right. Uh, Richard told me all these titles are wrong. Um, I do know the name of the titles because he gave them to me. But um, I really love the cover. Uh, it's a woman in a phone booth there. Pretty cool. Uh, but if you like... Um, you know, The Birds, Sweetheart of the Rodeo, if you like um, AM Gold, AM Pop from the early to mid 70s, and uh, also like Jimmy Webb, uh, that type of Americana pop, uh, country pop, um, but not, uh, not old school country. I, it, it's hard to explain, but really, really, really good stuff. Centered more around AM pop gold, uh, so that that's what I would call this. And this is actually in my top ten tax scam releases for sure. Both of his are. Uh, so if you if you like, um, you know that early seventies Americana like Eagles, um, Poco, uh, but it's even better than that. You know, a little bit of early Fleetwood, not early Fleetwood Mac, but like um, Lindsey Buckingham era Fleetwood Mac. And by the way, Lindsey Buckingham plays on a track uh he plays bass on the second track on this i believe so uh he actually recorded this in the same studio that fleetwood mac was in uh and he happened to run into lindsey buckingham and lindsey buckingham loved what he was doing um because they're lindsey buckingham's a big beatles fan and some of these tracks have that beatles vibe so you'll also hear the beatles in there too uh, so he, you know, they, they pulled him in to play on one of the sessions, but again, these have never been, uh, professionally released until Numero Group, uh, got a hold of the, uh, the story and then released, um, everything on, uh, digital. And I think, I don't think there, yeah, I think there's a CD, but there's no official vinyl out. So you'll have to stick to the tax scam records, but they sound great. Um, not all tax scam LPs were cut well, uh, but these particular ones sound wonderful, uh, very um, analog-y, great soundstage, really good 3D transparency. And here's Richard's other tax scam release. They, they nailed him twice, by the way. Uh, unfortunately, his manager kind of gave him up. <laughs> but this is called Gold and then Sweethearts, kind of like a play on Sweethearts of the Rodeo. And there's the label. This one um, is on Grania, and, uh, Grania Records, and I believe this is the only album on Grania Records. This is the only release. So uh, talk about, uh, you know, the tax loophole. Crazy stuff. And here's the back. I'll show you the back of it. Kind of got that Sweetheart of the Rodeo vibe there. Um, but again... You know, you got a little bit of the Beatles here. You got a little bit of uh, Flying Burrito Brothers, Jimmy Webb, uh, the Webb Brothers even, who came after, obviously. But um, these are both, these recordings are from the early 70s to mid 70s. So even though they were released in 77, they are 
early to mid 70s. It's in that sweet spot. So if you like AM Gold Pop, you're going to love Richard Goldman and those two tax scam releases. And then the last one I want to show you is Departure. Another AM 70s gold uh, release in my mind, but this is also, also a tax scam pressing. And here's the back. Uh, now, Departure, uh, the band members do know about this. They did find out, and so does Richard Goldman. He knows about his as well. Um, Richard and I talk about it all the time. But there's the, the label on Departure. And this one is on uh, Baby Grand Records. I got a few Baby Grands. So, again, uh, very good, like, uh, psych pop uh, from the early 70s. That was released in 1977. That's Departure. So just wanted to kind of showcase uh, another Acid Archive diary submission, number three, and then talk about uh, tax scam records because there really isn't a lot of information and no one really talks about tax scam records on the VC. So wanted to kind of get that the word out. And you know what? I've got a challenge for everyone else uh, that, that pops on here and shows videos. Show us your tax scam records. Um, we're going to start an Acid Archive diary. Let's start a tax scam diary. How's that? So there's Hot Dog and then the last one. Well, second to last, Slowpoke. And then Zolder and Clark. So once again, appreciate everyone watching. Please, uh, if you like what you see, hit subscribe. I'm going to have plenty more videos coming up, coming down the line. As promised, I did get my uh, my snowball activated and going uh, that I've used in the past. So the 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 uh, volume control and the the audio should sound really good for all of you. So Crazy Jimmy here once again. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe so you can see more down in the future. And appreciate you guys watching. Take care. Peace.